Kerry Corbett Owen and welcome to Coffee with Kerry. As I settle down with my new book, Your Body Song, 18 Minutes to Health, Happiness and Longevity. And you can read along with me if you click on the link below and get your copy from Amazon. Our Gut Brain. Our gut also starts to develop early, around 21 days after conception. It is connected to the brain and heart by an extensive network of neurons, plus a highway of chemicals and hormones that constantly provide feedback on the state of homeostasis and coherence in our body. And just like the heart, the nervous system of our intestines is so extensive that it can operate as an independent entity. The gut literally has its own brain. More recently too, researchers are suggesting that there is a poorly understood gut-heart axis in which there is a bi-directional relationship. I'd like to add a hypothesis of my own that there is a finely tuned multi-directional relationship between our three brains. A mind song, a heart song and a gut song axis that changes dynamically as they dance to our vibratory body song notes. Listen up, important information. In this new understanding, our physiological, cognitive and emotional systems are all related and connected through reciprocal communication. When life is stressful and strained, our consciousness lowers and our body systems reflect that by moving into survival mode, shutting down efficiency and coherence. When life flows and feels good, our consciousness is raised and all our body systems reflect this sense of thrival in the efficiency and coherence of body song rhythms and patterns. With their overall higher state of consciousness, centenarians also benefit from coherent physiological functioning. And then on page 72, I have a little diagram that explains what I think of as this multi-directional communication. Our cognitive brain. Our brain, in other words, our thoughts and cognitive system, is a processor that looks for similarities, compares differences, and figures out relationships between information and concepts, all of which give rise to our very individual mind song. When our brain perceives that all is well, the rest of our biology keeps working at its growth functions. When it concludes that what is happening is bad for our survival, it alerts our sympathetic nervous system, which then secretes hormones that signal an alarm and this sets off the HPA axis, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Once triggered, this starts a cascade of hormones, alerting first the pituitary gland, then the adrenal glands, which ultimately secrete cortisol. Cortisol increases blood pressure and heartbeat, which divert blood away towards our extremities to prepare to fight or flee. It also increases levels of glucose to give the body extra energy to deal with the stressor. From the body's perspective, biological activities that don't contribute to dealing with the immediate threat at hand, such as the immune system, should be shut down until the stress has passed. Repeated activation of the HPA axis with its elevation of glucose and cortisol, creates disease notes. Elevated glucose has been linked to type 2 diabetes, weight gain and heart disease, while cortisol suppresses our immune system, our mood and our memory. Don't forget to grab your copy of my book off Amazon and read along with me.